Good morning, my people. It's your Redneck from Cali Nate. No, it's been a little bit since we had a video. We didn't have a stream this week either. Uh, just had some conflicts going on this week. So, wasn't able to do it. But Thursday, we will be back on with me and BJ and Kyle. So, come out and share some good times with us. Um, so, without further ado, I want to show you what we got this week. Uh, so, of course, you know, got comics, of course. We get comics every week here. Every week. You know. Let's see. Alright. So first up we got Weapon H, number 8. Weapon X, 24. What if the X-Men, number one. I'm, I'm digging that they're bringing these back, though. I mean, I loved reading these in the 90s, and now with today's artists, I mean, they should make this phenomenal. Uh, we've got, of course, X-Men Black, Magneto, with that J. Scott Campbell cover. And, of course, had to get the variant. Magneto with that mugshot. As Guardians of the Galaxy, number two. Of course, this is an Infinity Wars tie-in, so and it's an actual really good story too. So it's kind of nice. We got Cosmic Ghost Rider number four. Death of the Inhumans number four. This has been an amazing story. If you've not read it, go out and grab it. I mean, they, I mean, these are easy to find, so definitely go grab it. We got Doctor Strange number six. And it's cool, it's like, what happens when Doctor Strange returns to find the Earth to find another Doctor Strange? Hmm, this should be interesting. Mark Wade's been writing some great stories with those too, so we should see. Our boys, of course, as you guys know in the Cindy Comics, Chad Bowers, Chris Sims. This is Sleepwalker, number one, Infinity War tie-in. So congrats Chad, congrats Chris, thank you guys. Iron Man, number four. Now this one just popped up. I mean, it was really low-key, you know, but because of the Daredevil, um, not Daredevil, but Iron Fist, um, actually both of them. Let me just talk about it. Typhoid Fever. Now, Typhoid Fever is about Typhoid and Mary. Now, this is going to be a three-issue, like, one-shot crossover kind of thing. It's going to be Spider-Man, X-Men, and Iron Fist. Um, and it's, what happens if Typhoon and Mary goes crazy and actually gets superpowers, you know, in the, the Marvel Universe? And then, of course, had to get the variant. Of course, it's got Bishop and Iceman on the cover, so you know this is going to be good. Um, I love this book. The first run so much that I had to go get the second print version. This is Web of Venom. Uh, Web of Venom, Dino. Um, this was an amazing story of what happened, you know, in Vietnam with the actual symbiotes. So definitely, if you've not read that one, go get it and read it. All right, now this has been like a '90s fanboy, you know, dream for a long time to see this happen. Um, he hasn't done this in years, and I was so happy when I heard this was coming out. Batman and the Max Arkham Dreams by Sam Keith. Oh, yeah, buddy. This is the A cover. This is the B cover. And here is the Jim Lee variant cover. So I am so excited to read this book. You guys have no idea because I love the Max. Um, in the 90s, especially with Sam Keith. Anything Sam Keith was doing, I loved his artwork. I always did. Alright, we got Curse of Brimstone, number 7, on that foil cover. Um, go out to your local OCS, pick up these foil covers. They look pretty sweet. I mean, I'm not collecting all of them, but I mean, they look really good. And they're not like that hard paper kind either. It's like a regular paper, but it's like um, just chromed out. Got Justice League, number 9. The Dreaming, number two. 
the unexpected number five and then I had to go get another copy of number three because I spoke coffee on mine whoopsie um, but yeah had to replace that one um, this is a huge crossover about the start between Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark this is witching hour so um, if you guys have been reading Justice League Dark, you know that Wonder Woman actually does have magical powers, and she's just now realizing this. From this cover, though, it looks like it doesn't turn out too well for Wonder Woman. Now, these last books are actually from my wife, Jess. They finally came out, so I had to pick them up. Rainbow Bride. And this is from Dynamite. This is number one. This is the A cover. The B cover. And the C cover. Now this one, of course, is the homage to the 80s Rainbow Bright. So definitely we had to get this for the wife. All right. Well, that's our comics for this week, people. Now, I uh, haven't had a whole lot of time to go do hunting or nothing like that. But I did pick up a couple things here and there. Um, I had to stop at Walgreens the other day. Uh, so... And what I picked up, well, back here, comics. Stack up there nicely. Be, be good boys. Um, it was picked up Marcy. I think that's how you say her name. I might be butchering it. Um, this is actually from my boy Mark Morlock. He found me the Bumblebee cassette tape set, um, which is you know the ones that goes with Soundwave. So he needed this one. So Mark, I got you, brother. But they were having sale on Transformers. And you know what that means. So, you guys remember, I think in my hunt video not too long ago, I found these guys here. Um, they were actually having a, a sale on these things. Buy one, get one free. Um, and so I just went there and I was like, okay, let me see what they got. So I got the Star Screen, the Bumblebee. The Optimus and the Megatron. So I think that's all of them in this set right now. Uh, I know there's a Grimlock that come out too, so I'll definitely be picking that one up. So, but yeah, buy one get one free. Hey, you guys know me. I'm all about deals. All right, all right. Now this up by Walmart. Finally saw this guy and had to pick him up. This is the Bumblebee's igniters, and this is not, and actually does transform into a car, not just like one of those little one-step things. Um, so I'm gonna test it out, try it out if it's good, and then I'll go get the uh, Optimus to go with it. But interested to see how it goes. I'm really waiting for that Studio Series ones to come out though. That's what I'm really waiting for. But yeah, we'll have to see how this guy goes. Now we did get one package in, only one this week. And no, it's not from Fans Hobby. Um, this is actually from my boy. Oh, can't show you that stuff. Uh, TJ Duckett, otherwise known as Kuma Style Reviews. So I will put a link down into his uh, YouTube channel below. Go check him out. I mean, he's a great dude. I've known him for a long time. Um, and it, he's one of those guys that's it's always heartfelt and always going to do what he can do to help you out. So. Go hook him up. Go go give him a sub. Go check out his reviews. He reviews uh, Transformers, Chagokins, anything robot related. He probably reviews it too. So go out and check him out. But he was having this massive uh, sale off of Toyco. Go, go shop at Toyco, people. Uh, and so I said, all right, let me get. I only need one of those. I, I, he had like a, a three pack set. Uh, three, three, three of them for sale. Um, I already got two of them, so I said I just need one. So if you want to sell one, just let me know. I said, dude, I got you. So literally, I mean, and this dude is amazing. I mean, literally, he was like, I paid him. He, it was already in the mail the same day. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, buddy. And what we got is. Thank you all. Make Toys Contact Shop. Now, if you guys don't know who this is, this is a G1 Target Master named uh, 
point break. Yeah. Um, so I needed this guy for my uh, collection because I like me some make toys and I like good ones. Um, this is kind of an obscure character, you know, but I like the headmasters. I love the target masters, so definitely wanted to get this one to go with the collection. Um, and especially the design. I mean, it just looks awesome. Look at the back of that box. Yeah, you know, I can't wait to get this guy out and play with him, so to speak. Um, but yeah, th I mean, this has been one I've been wanting forever. I had the G1 version a long time ago, and I loved playing with that toy. I really did. And I think that's kind of why I want this one so much, because it does bring back those memories of being a kid in the 80s. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, big shout out to my boy TJ Duckett, Kuma Style Reviews. Um, and of course, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you guys take it easy and have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, all right, all right.